After failed negotiations between LAUC and SEIU Local 99, SEIU is in strike, demanding higher wages. UTLA is striking in solidarity. The strike is expected to last three days. This is day one of that strike. The medium income for an SEIU 99 member is $25,000, which in Los Angeles is not a livable wage at all. So we're here asking for dignity, respect, and a pay raise. It's letting the district know that every single one of us has a role and we're valuable. And our campuses are open because we do it collectively. We're here in solidarity with local SEIU as members of the UTL, UTLA, the teacher union. Um, we're, LA's a union town and we want to make sure that we get the point across that as a union member we respect other unions and we don't cross the picket line so we're here in solidarity. I think it's kind of clear that preemptively that the superintendent has closed out schools without bus drivers, without cafeteria workers, without buildings and grounds, schools can't function. There's still time for a settlement that provides the continuity of education, food distribution, protection for kids in school, uh, a contract that honors and dignifies the good work of our staff members, but also a contract that does not put the district in a financially ruinous uh, position. Missing three days alone um, can really set back a classroom, but it's honestly for a good cause. It also demonstrates to kids that like, hey, like, you have the right to stand up for what you believe in and stick up for others. Just how UTLA is standing by Local 99. As far as our end of it as, as UTLA members and teachers, we know how valuable they are. We work with them every day. Um, we love them the same way that we love the other teachers in the community. We know that without them, schools don't run. And we're fighting for our own contract. and so. You know, solidarity between both unions is really um, the most powerful way for us to make a statement and demand what we deserve. And the SEIU and the workers for SEIU have been trying to get a contract and working without one for two years already. And the district has been unfair as far as their negotiation. committed to public education and this is what democracy looks like.